In this demo, I will show you how to set up a WordPress using the secrets. It's not a fully working WordPress yet. The more features of Kubernetes you will see, the more I will change the setup a little bit. And at the end of the course, you will actually have a WordPress that is working. We don't know how to use stateful containers yet. That's why whenever you're going to put data in this WordPress, it's not going to be persistent. Whenever your pod shuts down, the data is gone. But that doesn't stop me of showing you already what we can do now using those secrets. So, so the WordPress files are in a directory called WordPress in my GitHub repository of the Kubernetes course. The first file I want to show you is the WordPress secrets. This WordPress secrets has one secret, a database password. You can change this database password into something more secure, but this is just password. Then we are going to need a deployment. So I have a file called single deployment, no volumes, because we're not using any volumes to persist data yet. That's why I called it that way. It only has one replica. It's just one deployment of our app WordPress. This deployment has two containers. WordPress is a blog software, in case you didn't know yet. This has a container that is referring to the image WordPress version 4 with PHP 7. This container is one of the official WordPress images, and it comes with PHP and Apache, which is the web server. So it's a website, it's blog software, all bundled within one image, and that's what we're going to pull from the Docker repository. It's going to expose port 80, and we need to provide some of the environment variables. We need to provide a password of the database, and that's why we're going to use this WordPress DB password. And if you're wondering why I know this name of this environment variable, this is all explained on the website hubdocker.com of WordPress. And I will just show you that. This is the official repository for WordPress. It's a rich content management system and can utilize plugins, widgets, and themes. And then here you have how to use this image. And you can see we have a WordPress DB host, WordPress DB user, which is root, that we're not going to change because root is fine for us, and then a password, which we are going to set. We can also change the database name, the table prefix. We can set some other settings, like uh, an authentication key and so on. But if you don't set those, then it will be auto-generated, which is fine for us for now. We also have different images. We are going to use the one with PHP 7 and Apache, but you can also use the one without Apache. You can put an engine X in front of it if you want, but that would make it a little bit more complicated. So we're just going to keep it relatively simple for now. So that's how I found out about this WordPress data database passwords and the value for this key for this environment variable is going to come from the WordPress secrets. And I'm going to use the database password for this. The next environment variable that I'm going to define is the WordPress database host. And I'm going to use 127001, which is basically localhost. Because this is going to refer to another container, the second container that I have in this spot. I have a MySQL container, which is a database. MySQL version is 5.7. This is also an official image from Docker Hub. So we can also take a look at Docker Hub to read the instructions. It exposes the standard MySQL port 3306. And we are also going to define an environment variable with the MySQL root password. And this MySQL root password is going to have the same value as this one, which is the password that comes from our WordPress secrets. So the password needs to be the same because our database will be set up with this password. The login will always be root. And we also want to let our application know that it can log in using the same password. You can set some more environment variables, but this will do. We have one pod, two containers, and only one replica. Because if you would increase this to two, we're going to run two databases and it's not going to make sense. We only want one database and one WordPress in front of it. So let's launch this one. Cube control 
create minus f of the secrets secrets first wordpress secrets secrets created and then now we can create the deployment wordpress deployment created so let's have a look at the pods i still have my hello world from the previous demo and then here i have the wordpress deployment running two containers this time kubectl get or describe pod and here we have the two containers running using our secret to reach this wordpress i need to make a service so i also have a wordpress service that is going to target my http port for my pod it's the service for the app wordpress and it's going to expose this port as a node port so type node port cube control crates minus f and then minikube service wordpress service and then url and then i should be able to access our wordpress i'm going to do this in a web browser and then here we have our wordpress so we just need to do some setup this is going to be my blog my username I can use this password, my email address, you can discourage, discourage search engines from indexing this website, it's not even online, it's just on my PC. And then you can say install, and then it is installed, it goes very quick, and then you can log in. So I can now log in, and then welcome to WordPress. So I have my dashboard, it's all working. And if I click on visit website, I can actually visit my blog website. So it was that simple to set up a blog, but it's not fully working yet because this container is still going to write some data to the local image. If I'm going to upload media like images, then those images will be written on the container. If that, if that container restarts, all my images will be gone. So we will have to find a solution for that. And I will show you what happens when the pod gets killed. Cube control get pods. So let's say that our pod gets killed. Cube CTL. I'm just going to delete my pod, which will be launched again by the deployment. So my pod is deleted and a new pod is launched. But what's going to happen now? Because we launched a MySQL that contains all the data, the installation that we have done now, the my login and password that I filled out. But like I said earlier, those images, they boot up. You can write some data to that image, but when you restart a pod, it's nowhere saved because there are no data mounts, there are no volumes that we are using yet to keep the data saved somewhere. It's just, if a container restarts, the data will just be gone. So what then happens if our pod gets rescheduled or is killed? Well, I will just refresh this page and all the data is gone and I can just reinstall WordPress because my database is completely wiped. It is reinstalled because the data was not saved. This is still something that we have to find a solution for. And I will explain the solution in the volumes lecture later on. But for now, it's already a very interesting lab because this already touches a lot of things. We had a deployment, a service, secrets, environment variables, and multiple images in our pod.